This is the third kind of event we've run so far, getting people together. Um, but it's the first for some of you, and in some ways it's a bit of a first for us as well, because it's the first time we've really got the kind of convener function in place, which is what you're about to hear about now. The climate crisis is the number one challenge on the planet, our unifying mission as a species. We need to work collectively at speed and scale. So uh, that's why we're working together with these 51 towns and cities to unlock innovation investment around Net Zero. This Net Zero Living program, the 60 million program, it's really working on those non-technical barriers and it's working with you guys as the places that have the infrastructure and, and the, the opportunity to deliver in that local environment. At the moment, we're just in the process of developing a new strategy, which we're calling the New M Just Transition Plan, and we're hoping for that to be the first Just Transition Plan for any local authority in the UK. Our project is, for the FAST followers, is a business engagement programme. It's a programme around trying to develop business skills. We're going to be focusing on catalyzing and supporting SMEs to basically get pipeline into being able to kind of expand their businesses to be able to focus on retrofit. I'm looking at the financial and legal structures for district heat networks. I'm looking at community engagement and support for district heat networks. And I'm looking to build a supply chain in the local region. I think the biggest barrier across the board is finance and the finance models. Um, I think we know largely what to do, um, but it's getting the resources in place to deliver it. Biggest non-technical barrier currently is just getting people on board with the net zero journey. We need more people working on climate, we need more people across the council. This funding has funded my role and so we can actually develop some of the things that we want to do. Today's event, I've uh, made some connections already, uh, met some other partners that are delivering similar schemes or schemes that are different but we can find the connections. What I'll take back from today is that I like the idea of that one-to-one -one mentoring. There's a, there's a structure in place for us as fast followers. And we're all at different stages in the journey, so it's really sharing experiences from other councils. I would say that is the one absolute key thing for today. You all have experience and skills and lots of time on this journey. So it's not the start of a journey as a whole. It's the start of a journey of bringing it all together. How are we learning actively from you? How are we supporting you? How are we providing kind of training and advice that's needed? And we've got two years to prove that taking a local approach to net zero is the right way to go.